Well, praise the Lord most high and blessed be He. Father, teach us to dwell in your in your true love in Jesus' name. So true love, that's the uh, that's the uh, title of the message today. As for me, I have uh, have to thank God always. I have loved the Lord since He brought me uh, out of the world of sin. As a young man, I really had uh, no idea that uh, what I was missing, and maybe you have uh, been missing something uh, you didn't know existed. She just took my heart the first day when uh, when I entered the church doors. Truth, uh, truth, truth, truth is, God wanted me to to show His people He loves them, and that's why I write this today. So He, uh, so He pricked my heart to change. And change I did that day in church. Perhaps God is calling you to, uh, to do a work for Him today. As we grow in our love uh, for each other, speaking of a man and a woman in marriage, we grow, uh, and if we truly love the other, it does grow. We develop a longing for the fellowship of each other. Uh, I know for, for me, I uh, it was uh, it was love, and and as time passed, uh, as I saw the little things uh, my spouse uh, would do, I just uh, watched her sit there, or just uh, glance over and uh, see her there, uh, lost in her own thoughts. I would have tender thoughts uh, of her as uh, as I grew more in love with her each passing day. I had an alone time, and uh, so did she, but uh, and longing for her. Uh, have her there to share my life with was uh, was on my mind much of the time. And uh, like I said, I grew more in love with her as time passed. The Lord of all things created uh, created is like this also. He loves us uh, with agape love. And that's a kind of love that we cannot comprehend uh, and an eagerness of love. Uh, my love for the Lord has, has grown to a point uh, uh, it is almost feverish with uh, with a total heart I give to my Lord. I had uh, had love for the Lord in the beginning uh, when I was saved, but as time passed, I grew more in love with the presence of the of, of the Lord. As I as I showed uh, showed the love I had for the for the Lord, He showed me His love uh, for me. By answering each and every prayer I requested of him and more. Uh, sometimes there was not room to contain the presence of the Lord as I worshipped him. As I felt like uh, I would explode uh, with joy uh, I could not contain. Today I am uh, a teetotaler. I give it all to him. In other words, uh, I give it all uh, for what greater love can can you show that when uh, when in the presence of the Lord your body aches for the presence uh, of love uh, from the Father? Just as when you love uh, your wife or husband, uh, and your love encompasses her and she returns in, in kind, this works the same way. The Father's love uh, for each of us is that passionate. So when you love someone or God uh, that much, uh, and you see they uh, love you in return, if you were were to ask uh, the mate, uh, your mate, uh, would uh, would they not do everything in their power to do uh, to do this thing uh, which you are at, which you ask of them? Jesus is uh, uh, is this way for greater love has no one than the love Christ has for you. If you will join uh, uh, him in marriage, the Lord Most High will be and will love you in this way, and He will grant for every request. For His love is unconditional and without measure. The way to receive of the, of the Lord is is, the, is to follow His words, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. And this baptism takes you uh, takes away the curse of the flesh, which is death. And then, uh, then he will fill you with the power from on high, and he will dwell in you, being the Holy Ghost. 
Let not the devil take care, or make you think uh, you are weak. <clears throat> For then uh, Christ, uh, Christ is in you, and uh, whatsoever you will ask, he will do for you. You can overcome all things through him. Don't live in the flesh thinking you cannot do this. Live with the, uh, live with the Spirit, knowing God, God's word is true. And nothing will be able to overcome you, for you will need but ask. Uh, following Acts 2.38 will bring you salvation and power from the Lord. But all things seen and unseen. When you pray, picture the thing that uh, he has in his hand. No, he has it there. That you cannot see, but uh, you believe. For he has uh, for he said it is so. Then because you believed him, he opens his hand and gets it to you. This is true faith. Uh, may the Lord help you to understand that uh, when you fully rely on God, that's F-O-R-G, uh, call it frog, uh, you can do all things through him. Uh, what, you know, what an awesome life I've had uh, since Jesus came into my life. He is there for you too. And the Lord says, come and drink of the water of life. I will give, it, will give you rest. Uh, boy, talk about rest uh, in him. I was already married uh, in 1970 when the Lord took my heart. My son was two and my wife uh, and I had been married three years. In 1971, my daughter uh, came, came along. My daughter had died. My mother had died, I'm sorry, and went to, uh, to be with uh, Jesus in 1968. So my dad had remarried and moved to Portsmouth, Ohio, USA. I had taken uh, my family to see him. Uh, he lived uh, about 100 miles from us. So I stopped at the store along the way. Uh, this was in 1975. My son being six then and my daughter uh, being four. The store had a pink purse, which my daughter chose, and my son a gun which shoots darts. After arriving there, the kids uh, went into the kitchen uh, with my wife, and I was sitting talking to my dad. However, without me knowing, uh, the little ones uh, went by, by me and across the street. My daughter had talked to her big brother into going across the street to get her purse. He made it. Uh, he made it across, but she did. She was uh, run over uh, with both wheels and crushed. My son ran to the door and stuck his head in. Dad, he yelled, uh, yelled out, "Peggy got hit by a car." Before I could move, the power of God encompassed me, and I was out the door. As soon as I was outside, I saw a woman uh, running at me, uh, flailing her hand. And thinking, she's dead, she's dead. My left hand went up in the air. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, as though it were automatic. Uh, and, and, and said, someone come and take care of this woman. The two angels, I, I saw take her away from me. My presence as I, I went to the daughter's broken body. All the while I was praying to the Lord that uh, I had given them to her his care. As I knelt over her little body, I could see in the train tracks uh, on her dress where she had uh, been crushed. I raised my left hand to the Almighty God, <coughs> which loves me uh, as also he does you. When you will follow the path of salvation and grow in him. There were no tears to me, uh, for I had total faith in the Lord. I held my left hand in the air towards the Lord, and uh, the other I waved over her little body. I saw her reform, and the breath of life returned to her body. She jumped up and uh, into my arms, completely healed. Her mother came out, and I handed it to her. Not even a uh, needed, not even a bruise was found on her at the hospital, where where they took her uh, to be examined. The nurse came uh, came out uh, as we were 
were waiting in the waiting room of the hospital. The only thing we found uh, was a slight tear on the inside of her stomach, and that was done by the, the hose we stuffed down her neck. Uh, like in all marriages, uh, one, uh, once you have that full trust, uh, you know there is no fear of what the other will do. I have no fear of what God will do. Why he tells us to ask and receive whatsoever we shall ask. The marriage you have uh, with the Father is much deeper and you need only trust Him to receive from Him in Jesus' name. Let us come now to our Father who loves us more than uh, we can comprehend. Believe, ask, and receive in Jesus' holy name. So let us pray. Father, we come to you now for everyone that has a need, we ask, oh God, that, you, they, that they, 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 they ask as we pray right now. In Jesus' name. No conde hello, cushion, go go scar, cut on deck. No conde go scan, they go tan de below, ya eke, but go scar, cut. No conde la hara, but go shut up a cat, come to deck, my other cat. No conde la cushia, go skier, go keep, come to the room, my tongue. In Jesus' name. Well, like always, Jesus loves you, and I definitely love you. Stay blessed until next time in Jesus' holy name.